staff tricks wherein one of the ends is in touch with the hand or the handle on the other end. Um, there are many quite a bit of uh, anti-grids in Koi, and uh, those, of course, are one of my favorite portraits to play with. And I'm trying to find more stuff to do with this kind of alignment right here. Um, many of you, of course, will remember this nice little box pattern from several months ago. Um, recently, I started playing around with a variation on this that I get to do with full anti-grids, where I'm kind of like going around the box in ways that yield a slightly more complex pattern. I was having problems figuring out exactly how it should work at first, uh, but now I have something that feels coherent to put into the video. So um, let's start with what happens with the hands here. So this, this, is, this is the worst comparison ever, but it's kind of like the Marvel right now. So you have hands at each of your hips, and you're going to wind up with your right hand going around your left hand, and it's going to stop at your left shoulder. You're going to bring your left hand up and around your right hand, and it's going to stop at your left shoulder. You're going to take your right hand and drop it down and around your right hand, and it stops at your right hip. You're going to take your left hand and drop it down and around your right hand, and bring it back to your left hip. Yeah? So it's right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder, right hand, right hip, left hand, left hip. But you have to get around there by doing essentially a circle and quarter, right? So I will do circle and quarter, back around to my left shoulder, circle and quarter, back around to my right shoulder, circle and quarter, back around to my right hip, circle and quarter, back around to my left hip. What tripped me up when I first tried this at first was not really knowing which direction each of my hands had to rotate. You also want to think of it as being a fold that happens with the hand that's leading going across the body and we'll get there, yeah? It's always going to go around in a counterclockwise fashion, like so. So once that's in place, you start off here with uh, the two staffs kind of parallel next to each other and everything, and it's going to be my left hand staff that's just going to be doing a standard hip reel, and my right hand staff that's going to be doing a four pedal anti spin against it, right? Which of course means that at each of these four points here, I have this relationship where they're stopping in a straight line, right? And I can use that as the point to shift because the distance between the staffs is enough that I can now switch up to the right hand staff doing the 2B, the reel, and the left hand staff. Ooh doing the four pedal anti spin and it winds up looking like this. Why get that line, that line, that line, and that line. Moving between them. Now I have that horizontal line I'm in another transition place. And I can have my left hand now do the reel. Like so. And my right hand is the four pedal anti spin going down, out, up. Left, down. Now the, the, the tricky part that happens in there is that essentially, oh, what was I? Yeah, here we go. Um, I have to, as I'm dropping my right hand down, switch my emphasis as it's coming out to have that left hand staff drop down behind my shoulder as it comes around, like so. And then of course I wind up with this line going straight down, and that becomes my opportunity to have the left hand staff go into anti spin as my right hand staff does a hip reel, like so. So think of it as being my left hand is doing the hip reel, my right hand is doing the hip reel, shoulder reel, excuse me. Um, my left hand is doing the shoulder reel, my right hand is doing the shoulder reel. Or you can think of it, right hand is anti-spin, left hand is anti-spin, right hand is anti-spin, left hand is anti-spin. And in each case, the staff is going to be rotating clockwise, and the hand is going to be rotating counterclockwise, right? So, yeah, it's just a neat traveling trick. Of course, there's opportunities to drop into some of the other things that we've talked about.
talk back here at these. Or just, you know, hang out in one of these uh, these anti-roots for a second there. Cool. So I just thought it was like you know, on the show. Thank you guys for watching and have yourselves a good week. I'll be back in another two weeks with uh, another dose of talk for you. Peace. This video was made possible thanks to the kind contributions of these folks right here. In addition, special thanks to Sean, Prisna, Kiro, as well as Andrew Hammond and Ben Reynolds. Thank you guys so much for making these videos possible. If you've enjoyed these videos or learned anything from them, please consider making a contribution at drexfactor.com support. Help me to keep on making these videos that you love. Thanks.